Hello, welcome to The Last Natufian, my new series about the pillars at Gobekli Tepe. My name is Herman Lewis, and in November of 2022, last year, I was able to figure out the Vulture Stone. It's a cartoon map, and a couple months ago I figured out most of the rest of the pillars, and I'll be showing you everything over the next few videos. Like you, as an ancient Egyptian fan or an ancient Egypt fan, I was completely blown away by the discovery of Gobekli Tepe. But not completely surprised, as there had to be something before Egypt, right? Right now, though, I'd like to take a minute and show a lot of respect and thanks to the people of Turkey for preserving this site, to Klaus Schmidt for his tireless work, to Chuck from Las Vegas, rest in peace. Your YouTube work is, was fantastic. To Martin Swetman and Andrew Curry for responding to me. You're not going to like these videos, but I hope you respect them because I am correct. All of the theories for the pillars revolved around astronomy, astrology, religion, or aliens. Or they would say the meaning will never be known, uh, what, what is being said on these stones. The vulture stone, though, was always featured, but never defined completely. I mean, I immediately recognized the markings on on the pillars, you know, especially these up and down ones as, as mountains, just like we do as kids. Also, these waves up here tossing these animals on their heads. And, and notice how there's three bricks, right? I mean, they're using the same terminology we do today. It's a literal wall of water, okay? And so how did I discover this? Well, I, I simply one day just typed in Gobekli Tepe, okay? And wanted to see where they were located all these pillars. So I did, and I zoomed out, and zoomed out, and noticed right away about Haran. Now, I didn't know about this area too much. I knew the names, but right away when I zoomed out, I noticed a couple things. One, right away, that the Euphrates is shaped like a chicken, right on the back end with long legs, and that right away matched with what's going on here. Then I noticed that this fish, uh, on the back, uh, the back end of the fish doesn't have a tail, okay? So, there's a better view of it on satellite. So looking at it on satellite here, you can see a couple things. One, the bird right here, as I said, the, is right here. So to the right is Karakadag. And if you saw the previous videos, there is the I-shaped pillar right there. And that's one of the highest points in Turkey. I also noticed that the water here, there's a big watershed that comes and drains between these two mountains. That shapes the H-pillar on the ground, as you can see it being filtered right there. And then here's the V for the head for the uh, for the fish coming into the tail of Haran. So, and, and down below here, as you can see the a duck here, the ugly duckling, here is the head of the duck. All right, so... In, in drawing it, there it is right there, as I just explained. Every, everything drawn, as you can see right here. And in a normal terrain mode, that's what it would look like. Okay? Now, continuing on the pillar, as with my previous videos, you have these, these shapes here. You've got this, the vulture, you've got the scorpion, you've got this snake, this dog, and these structures down in here. Well those that's easy too those is as, as i showed on my previous videos are right here here's the vulture it's the the golan heights sitting on its legs right here see the, the wing right there here is the scorpion with its tail all right you can go on your phone and see this the snake that you see right here coming to the bottom underneath uh, uh, the vultures is just the Jordan River. It's these mountains right here around Amman. And then, of course, one of my favorites is the dog here. Here's the mouth. Here are the front legs, the body, the back legs, and the tail. You see it right there. And then in between the legs of the dog is that other structure. So, and, so there you go. I just drew that and everything I just said. You'll see it in the previous videos. It's absolutely amazing. So then uh, towards the Mediterranean is just the water. So this is everything on the pillar looking this way, as I said on the previous video, so I drew everything in. So you've got the Mount Hermon, you've got uh, uh, Talat Musa here, um, right? Everything's in here. Added the way they use the, the, the animals again. So they're being used twice. And it, so please look at the previous series. And you'll see how I break that down. So moving on though, to get to today, I told my wife, I said, you know, if 
I could see the side of this pillar here and the side of this pillar here. Iraq would be here and Israel would be on that side right there. So I, I finally found a picture. I really didn't concentrate on it, um, but I found it right there. So on the side of the pillar here would be the Tigris River. That's a tiger and that, that is the Tigris River. Now on the last video, how that's how I ended it. I said, I'm going to show you this. Okay, so there's the Tigris. And so let's get back to what I said at, on, the, on the pillar. I said on the side of the pillar, right here, the legs, oop, the legs of the pillar, come on, Herm, right there would be Iraq on the side, right? Okay, so you're seeing my mistakes and everything here. So let's move over and find, here's the Tigris right here. So here is the Euphrates coming in here. Here's the Tigris. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to see this. I'm going to draw it for you live. Okay. First off, here is, see that river there by your bill? Here's another river right here. Okay. You're going to love this. Right here's the face of the tiger. Right here. Here's the flat face here. Here's the head, come around here. There you go, right there. Come in through here, here are the legs. And right through to there. You've got the tail behind the ears here, is what they're talking about. Then you see this lake here that they dammed up? That would be that long arm. And here's the fist, right there. Here's the fist, okay. Then in here, in Baghdad, you've got your where the rivers come together. And I'm going to show you more detail on this one here. So that's it. That's the side right here. This is so you've got the Euphrates, you've got the Tigris, you've got Baghdad right there. So delete that screenshot and get back to. So we have some rules now. You just saw what was going on. So the pillar rules, there are no people on any, of the, on any of the pillars. There are no places, no specific settlements. They did not give up their secret. The terrain is on the faces and the rivers are on the edges of the pillars. So, so previously I'd said that the pillar 43 encompassed all of this here. Well, now I just added the Tigris River part right there. And now I'm gonna go through all the pillars from A1 on to show all the rest of the animals. And right now, for the first time in 10,000 years, you wanna see all the animals? There they are, here are all the maps. So what was important to these people at the time wasn't in the stars, it was logistics, it was trucking. They were hunter-gatherers. So they were the original truckers, right? You needed to know where things were, when things were being ripe, what was going on. Information would come to you from these different places. So at the pillars, this was a, a meeting room. Other areas you're gonna see education, but this was a situation room. So they could bring here, there was probably representatives for each pillar. I don't know, I don't like to speculate a lot, but uh, that why else would you use it like this? Again, to keep track of where things were going and they did it for a long time. So and I'm going to continue making videos and putting them on here in, in a series, the last Natufian. So we'll see you on the next video. Prost.